There are several ways a person can come into contact with a wild bat. They are small and clever mammals that can find multiple ways inside residential and commercial properties. An opening as small as an inch, is large enough for bats to enter a home. Here, bats can bred their young, feed, and hibernate through the winter months. When home and building owners discover a bat colony living inside their properties, they are advised to leave the bats alone and call a professional bat removal company for help. This is because bats can, and will, bite humans to protect themselves and their young. They can also pass along a variety of illnesses, infections, and diseases such as rabies. Continue reading to learn about bat bites and bats that carry the rabies virus. Rabies in bats. When a bat has rabies, it isn't always evident. A bat can simply be a carrier in other circumstances. Although you can never be sure if a bat has rabies or not, there are signs that can suggest a bat is ill and should not be tampered with under any circumstance. For example, a sick bat might display signs of lethargy or weakness. They may also fly around in circles or in erratic patterns. Bats are also nocturnal, so if they are seen during the daytime, it could be an indication that something is wrong. Bats can pass along rabies and other illnesses through bites, saliva, and blood. Bats have very tiny teeth, so a bite can sometimes go unnoticed. This is another reason why novice attempts at removing bats is dangerous and ill-advised. An expert is the only party qualified to safely handle a bat infestation issue. Other infections like histoplasmosis and bat mites are caused from bat intrusion and droppings. They are not life-threatening illnesses, but can still be harmful and uncomfortable. Rabies in humans. When a human has contracted rabies, they will start to display particular signs, in which case they will need to go to the emergency room immediately. These signs will start off similar to the flu or common cold, like headache and fever. Later on, other signs such as dizziness, rage, and confusion will begin. The incubation period for rabies in the average person is about 5 to 7 days. All cases of rabies in humans were fatal until the vaccine was invented in the early 1900s. Now, if a person is ever infected with rabies, he or she can go to the emergency room and receive effective treatment to stop the virus from multiplying.